obviously we're fishing in today. So I didn't come back to this spot because I don't know, I just have a feeling like I want to fish here. Even though it looks so bad and stuff right now. Still kinda have a feeling like I want to fish here. So they fish here. I know a lot of barracudas probably out right now hunting, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright guys, welcome back to 34 fishing. I uh, see how I fishing out here. I start my intro after I don't catch my fish. So let me start up by saying I'm going to make 340 fishing history right now on this dock. I don't catch the fish already, but I can show you how it looks. Hopefully, it's not too windy for Ayo, but here I just have on a little float with like a one ounce sinker. And then I think this is like a size two circle hook with some squid on it just to test out and see what's going on. Hopefully, you get some fish out here eating up these stuff that washing back in the water and you know we're going to see though this is the first cast we're going to leave this out there i don't know my drag just not working anymore it's so loose like something in there off i think i oiled it up too much i don't know i gotta look over that but hopefully i can still catch a fish like that you wouldn't even hear it if a fish grab it Oh, that's seaweed, man. The blue runner on. Cast it out there. something if I get one. I might have to change my spots if I don't catch a fish. So much seaweed just coming. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go guys. Let's go. I've been waiting for this. Can't even hear my drag but come on. Swimming out. It's a circle hook so hopefully I feel me now right feel like a group again or a snapper with a good side where I can fit there come on who catch this please let me walk down this way so I could just land it better I don't know what this is, but fighting good. Alright, I'm going to drag it, trying to go around the piling. Ah, uh, my drag ain't good. Come on. Come on. Walk it down. Let's go. Big mutton snapper, are you? Big mutton snapper. Woo. Are you see that? Woo. Big mutton snapper, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, are you? Let's go. That's what I come for. That's what I come for. Oh, yeah. Circle hook, do the job. Went right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Perfect. I don't say out here look at the spot where they're gonna be hunting, so I just come drop down some bait, catch a nice fish. I catch a nice fish. This is my personal best mutton snapper. Yeah man. Right here by Lagoon Dakayo. Stop playing man. I tell I know I doing. Let's go everybody. Just catch my PB mutton snapper. I don't know how much it be, but I know this is over 18 inches or 18 inches so this would be legal in florida i mean i'm gonna keep it anyway but <laughs> all right guys so this is what i'm going to do i'm about to bleed it i'm about to bleed it so so you don't get away oh i can see it i wanted the meat to stay fresh i didn't even bring any ice or anything like that it's so vexed
They didn't bring any ice, are you? Man, I want to ice down this fish. Should I stick my hand in the mouth? I should it, you know, I have players for that, but. Kinda dead, so I gotta stick my hand in the mouth anyway. I wake up, I say it's gonna be a good day, a good day. You know exactly what to look for. Yeah, boy. PB Mutton, PB Mutton, yeah! Let's go, let's go! Uh, I catch a big snapper like this. See how I have my hands in the gills? Let me turn this. Come on, camera, turn. Don't do this. Anyway, they have some big crushers in there. And that will crush your finger bad. All right, ready for a second one now. That blue runner. I know, it's a good thing I saved this blue runner for bait. Man, my reel ain't even good, ain't even working good. Ain't like as a big YouTuber where I could just go bike. The newest reels are coming out and stuff. I'm just a regular guy trying to catch fish with what I have. That's all it is. Back down. You just wait again. I wait for about 10 to 11 minutes before that one bite. I was feeling the nibbles and then I started to record it right when I start to feel the nibbles more so I'll just do the same thing again I'll see how you hopefully if that happen I get if it don't happen I find because I got a good fish so wish I had a cameraman my son all right I'll record when I start to nibble up oh every time I say that every time I say that I know they are need here no I didn't show I but I wasn't catching any fish right put these things in sport mode and I pull up that mutton oh my gosh I tell I you know it's a trick is the trick it's so crazy how this is the first spot well this is the same spot where i catch my personal best mangrove snapper and then now i just catch my personal best mutton snapper and i have it on film too oh man I, i'm so thankful for this i am so thankful for this today i say i'm going to come out here do what i love doing I'm just gonna come out and do what i love to do and it pays off every single time. Every single time. Follow your dreams, everybody. Since I don't got a cameraman, hopefully my GoPro don't fall in the water. Gonna try to set up a little angle for Ayo. Ah, oh, shoot, my battery dying. Anyway, so it could be possible that this weight, because I know the snappers and stuff, they like longer leaders. So this floater right here could possibly be messing with it. I'm messing with the bite a little bit. So I'm going to just move it up a little bit on the line and then hook it back on bait up again drop it down i kind of want to try some squid I think i'm gonna try a piece of squid so i'll find a piece of squid and then drop it down all right you got a nice piece of squid catch too but not way after so I'm going to just pitch it back in the water but a circle hook always does the job I always does the job come on I don't want to kill you I want you to get big Anyway, 
is if I can't pick up a big one like that I need a big snapper I need another big snapper really? I'm too excited I look at that alright back on the dock we're going This one look a little prettier. Man, I'm gonna probably have to start keeping these things because. But it's so small, I would love to put this in a fish tank. Look at this, look at the close up. This one's smaller, but way prettier. Circle hook. It's the best thing, man. Alright, get back in the water. On to the next, guys, on to the next. to roam the outside edges of the reefs so if you have a seagrass spot next to a reef or like a sandy bottom next to a reef you'll find muttons there all the time and i actually have my light rod i'm gonna pour on some smaller hooks on that and see if i could catch some smaller fish with that just for fun all right now i fish on my light rod got three split shots down to a little hook here and some and a squid head i love to fish with squid head so i really feel like i'm gonna pull up something i'll fish on the right side now I want to drop it kind of under the dock. I'd love to catch a big fish on this though. What did I just catch? I don't even know. As soon as I set out the fish, I started. Ah, just so. Just like that, guys. Ah. I'm going to cast this one closer to shore. I have an eel, man. I mean, this is good snapper bait, you know. Is it dead already? Oh, it's not dead! <laughs> Oh shoot! That catch me off guard for sure. I really don't want it to tangle up. I really don't want it to tangle up. Get off! Yeah. Come on! Did I just? No way! Well, I just cut my line and drop my sinker in the water, which is very annoying. Gosh, goodbye,
I got I don't make videos on YouTube so you can, you can see it on YouTube 340 fishing yes sir yes sir all right now you see how we're looking fully scaled down you got no more scales on it this is a 4.15 pound fish are you my personal best motor snapper all right guys make sure to like share comment and subscribe all right that's it for here at the beach next thing i'm gonna see is probably me filleting it going to fillet this fish Instead of it, good. We're over the rib cage right now. Break through the pin bones. one fillet right there and then I'm going to just do the same thing to the next side and I'm going to use the body so nothing gonna get waste anyway all right so I done filleting I get these two snapper fillets here I ain't fillet a fish in a little while so it still get a little bit of meat on it but we're going to use the carcass and the head and stuff to eat so nothing ain't going to waste but I'm going to just skin these clean these up a bit and then I go see me in the kitchen so right here we get the fillets all deboned and clean up now we're getting them ready to season up we can add some sazan for sure because you know you gotta add that to chicken fish every single thing you're cooking you gotta add sazan then we're going to add some everglades seasoning because they have a wonderful flavor i really like the taste of this in fish and in chicken then you're gonna add some black pimento pepper in there i feel like black pepper should go in everything after that we're gonna add some paprika for color and for the flavor then we're going to add some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat. After we add that, we're going to add some garlic powder because the flavor is amazing. Especially when you start to cook. Man, it'll smell good. Oh, shoot. I look, that boat sink. That's crazy. Hey, guys. So we're down here by the beach now. I got my grill set up and everything. Right here. Let me switch the camera around. So right here, I get some snapper fillets that I peak, like cut it into kind of equal size pieces and then I'm going to be making fish wraps so inside of here I have flour black pepper and cornstarch I'm going to put that inside of here and then I'm going to shake this and then put it to fry so right here I'm just shaking up the fish inside of the cornstarch the flour and the black pepper getting it ready to fry <laughs> the oil not quite as hot yet so when it's hot I can put the fish them in but see how they coat up and they all oh yeah look at that look at that in the meantime I'm gonna just cut up some of this pepper bell pepper I ever see a cat eat onions? So weird. Alright, so I can cut this up. We're going to use these. And then now I'm about to fry the fish because I could hear the oil cracking. 
So. Look at the cat. You want some fish? You want a piece of fish? Let me see if I got a piece of fish to give you. Look. Look, I got a little piece of fish for you. Look. Cat, I really hope you eat that. Here yeah, the fish frame. About to flip it in like two more minutes. Then the scene out here. I mean, it's kind of windy, but it's still beautiful. The sun kind of going down, so you can't really see the sunset right now. But. Yeah, it's gloomy but it's still beautiful. Alright, so right now, I'm about to flip the fish. It is really tender right now. I gonna have to do this with two hands. Alright, so I just flip them and this is how we look in. I take out a little bit of the oil too, so it can get a little crispier, and then we're gonna be good. If I could smell that, man. So I go and fry these up a little longer and then put them on top of these. But man, if I only see this, oh boy, I see that, man. That gonna be so good. All right, so right now I just heating up the tortillas. Them, got yeah, the fish and stuff over here. I'm gonna heat this up a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how I gonna make the wrap. I hope I could see this. Have some mayonnaise. I really like mayonnaise, so don't judge me. After the mayonnaise, we come in with the baby spinach. We're going to come in with the fish. Come look at this. So now. I have the mayonnaise, I have the baby spinach, some pieces of fish here, and then I go and put some onions and peppers. You want onion and peppers on yours too? You've got a good amount of onion and peppers on mine. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Then I'm not gonna have no. Look, you get more fish. You want, you want the next piece? No, fine. Right now, I'm going to get some cheese. What kind of cheese is this? Triple cheddar cheese. Then, put some cheese on it. I think I should put ketchup on. That's not enough cheese. That's not enough? That's how much I want. I'm gonna put a little, little bit of ketchup. Alright, now this is it. I don't know how to fold this, you know. I see that right there. That's like the ultimate fish wrap right there. Period. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Oh boy, I know when the food good, I gotta come and try it twice again. But this is where I be right now. See the view? Dark though, so about to take off. <laughs>